Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Wolf Quest The Lost Brother with Teo, who is still standing triumphantly over his kill that he managed to accomplish, unfortunately, through his rage, through his fire, um, and through his burning hatred. He just, he realized that his pups are sick. It's scaring him. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know how to fix that. Seraph taught him a lot, but he, he didn't get taught everything. And so he's feeling a little helpless right now. He has two pups that are sick and he does not know what on earth he's going to do. Oh, how precious. So Teo has gone into the den to check on his pups and his sweet mate Sundance and she's worried, you can tell in her face, she's worried. She's got the pups around her, she's holding them so close. So Seraphine is very sick. It looks like her health has plummeted quite a bit. Sleeping is dangerous. Um, Teo has a bit of a jaw injury. He needs to sleep. He won't be able to defend his den without sleep. And the pups also need rest in order to recover. But sleeping is still very dangerous. Um, unfortunately, he's not able to spend time with the pups if they are laying with Sundance. So he is going to call them out. Hi, Earthem. How are you, love? It looks like they are quite full, which is great. Hi, Seraphine. He is very worried about these two right here. And even Sundance knows she laid right next to them like she knew. Oh, goodness. So before we go too far, um, we're going to go ahead and pause this real quick. I want to roll um, the difficulty for today. All right, so it is a four, which means we are moving back to accurate setting. Oh, I didn't want that. I really did not want that. Okay, it's so hard to go from easy to accurate. Oh, my heart. Oh, my heart. All right. So Teo is laying next to these two. He's going to sleep. He doesn't quite know any better. He's like, oh, they need rest. They need rest and they'll get better. And then if we wake up in the morning and they aren't better, then he'll know maybe that wasn't the best idea. Maybe rest is not what they needed and he's going to stay with them. Hopefully he'll get the picture. He's, he's not dumb. <laughs> All right, let's feed them real quick. Okay, so Seraphine is dropping really quickly. That is not a good sign. Um, the faster they drop, the less likely they are to recover. This scares me so much because I genuinely feel like if Teo loses Seraphine, he's, he's not going to be okay. Um, oof. So, um, this episode is probably going to be full of just hanging with the pups until something happens and they get better. We may hunt... But Teo's going to put his territory taking behind him until he sees some improvement in his pups. I imagine that he's very frustrated and he doesn't understand what's happening and he doesn't understand how to fix it. Seraphine isn't eating. Goodness, Seraphine, I need you to eat, love. Eat. Eat. You have to stay alive for your dad. He won't understand. He'll become so angry. This is, this is quite a bit of a struggle because I, I know how essentially this is supposed to go, right? So I have goals set in mind and there are things that could make Teo turn more good and kind of let go of that hatred. I think he'll always be fiery. I don't see Teo becoming a softie by any means. He's always going to have that fire, that temper. But the difference is letting it consume him. And so if he has a good playthrough, you know, through Wolf Quest, if he has a good first litter, um, I see him being able to control that anger, if that makes sense. Like, he'll never really get rid of it, but controlling it is more so what I'm looking for. If bad things happen, if he doesn't reach his goals and he loses pups or, goodness forbid, loses Sundance, 
I think it would consume him and he would become rage filled and nothing would console him or fix it. So I'm hoping beyond all hope that things turn out right. All right, let's take a quick look at the pups. So they ate really well, which is great. Stardust is also sick. She's at 72%. That's not so bad. I think her coat is a little bit darker. She might have a better chance of surviving. Um, and she is a bigger pup. So she's the biggest pup actually at 11 pounds. She's very chonky. Um, Moon Dancer is totally fine at 10.7. And Seraphine, she's at, at half health right now. Uh, she's 10.2 pounds. Earthum is 9.6 pounds. Earthum is our little baby. But he's very healthy and Bastion's very healthy at 9.8 pounds. Um, let's go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna call the pups back into the den. Oh, Sundance is worried. I would love to believe that that Sundance um, believes in the way Teo does, and all of the things that she has she has told him. And so when she howls, that's her way of praying. Now she's praying to Eartha, and now the snows are coming. Oh my. So we're gonna call Sundance to us. She wants to stay clearly because she's worried, but she needs to eat. So we're gonna take her to some food to make sure she stays healthy as well. Teo understands what it means to be hungry and how weak it makes you. And so he's gonna make sure that Sundance absolutely gets fed. Oh goodness, there isn't much left of that at all. Oh, and she's so hungry. Oh goodness. We may have to hunt then. Is there anything that we smell? Yes, we're gonna have to hunt. He can't let her get too weak. We found some mule deer. It's always a little dangerous to go after mule deer because they're so fast, but this is the only thing I was able to find. The elk are nowhere to be found at this point. Oh my goodness, yes! We actually managed to get a beaver. Oh, yay. Oh, and there's another one. Hold on. What? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got it again. No! Oh no. That beaver, dang it. Shame. Well, at least we got one. Wait, is that another one? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Two, three. Okay, this, nope. Okay. Oh, we did it. All right, we're gonna let her eat that. Oh, we got two beavers, you guys. Thank you so much for teaching me the trick <laughs> about the control thing and crouching and how that helps. Oh my goodness. Oh look, Sundance is happy. She's like, yes. Oh, we made her so happy. Good, good. I think we'll even be able to let her eat the rest of that too. Go ahead and eat that, Sundance. There's plenty. Eat it. Eat it, love. Did she get it? Maybe she did. Or is it all gone? I guess it's gone. <laughs> Did I eat it all? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, at least she got some. Now let's head back to the pups. We've been away from them for far too long. I just wanted to get them some food. Mm, yeah, no. Mule deer are just not worth it anymore, y'all. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's just so not worth it, the mule deer. They're too fast. Even if you have speed boost, they're kind of fast. 
We're back with the babies. Hello, babies. Seraphine, love. Have a little bit more food. I don't think it would hurt you any. We're just gonna let Teo lay down. He's gonna watch them very closely, I think. <laughs> Occasionally sniffing the air. Question mark. I don't think he's gonna be concerned with that right now. He is very concerned with his two sick pups. Oh, the howls. Oh, good, 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 good. This is helping Affinity so much. Oh, the squeakies. I like how Seraphine and Stardust are staying pretty close to Dad just to begin with. I think Stardust is going to be okay. I'm the most worried about Seraphine. Stardust even seems to have more energy than Seraphine right now, who's pulling a little closer to her mom, interestingly enough. Bastion, Moon Dancer. I need to be worried about your sisters, not you. Okay, I, I hear howling close by. It's making me a little nervous. But we really need to lay here with them. Perhaps Teo's even thinking, like, should we move? Is it this den? They only got sick when we came to this den. Maybe we need to move. Moving them would be very difficult, but not impossible. Moon Dancer, you're getting just a little bit too courageous there, bub. I know you love to be on the rocks, and I think it is such a precious thing. But you need to be here with your sisters and help them feel better. Oh, dear. Why did I see that coming from a mile away? Okay, Seraphine's in, Moon Dancer's in, Earthum is trying to go in. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, this is not good. Don't you dare, Eagle, please go away. Oh, I'm caught on the rocks. This den is cursed! <laughs> oh, good. Good, 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 good. Whew. Stardust, you only, you almost became Eagle Meat. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Actually, yes. We're going to go into the den. We're going to go into the den, and even though it is extremely risky, Teo's going to sleep, and he's like, I'm done with this den. Both of my pups got sick. The eagles are a problem. We're moving tomorrow. So he's made that decision. They're going to move tomorrow. Oh my goodness! Okay, a pup got better. I don't know which pup got better, but that is such a blessing. <laughs> Seraphine got better. Oh my heart. Oh my heart. This is good. This is so good. Oh, Seraphine. I was so worried for you, love. Oh, I think Teo will still move them. I understand that that may seem very risky. But I think in his mind, he's like, no, too much has happened at this den. We need to move them. A territory is having big hits to it right now. I'm trying to remember if that's one of Mikhail's dens, and I don't, I don't want to go there. We may actually take them to the lake. All right, babies, I think we're going to be moving today. We're going to be moving today. Oh, good. We still had a little bit of food. I smell elk, which is great. I smell dispersal wolves, which usually aren't a concern as far as den attacks go. Yeah, we're gonna move them down to the lake because now Junction Butte is taking their territory back and all of Teo's progress is going out the window, unfortunately. But this is what happens when you take care of pups. Okay, babies, are you full? Seraphine didn't even get too low, which is good. Now Stardust is really sick, though. She plummeted kind of fast. Oof. Okay. Then it is going to be important for us to move today. Move to new den. Oh, we have a jaw injury. This might be interesting. But here we go. Oh, nope. We don't want to run. Come on, pups. All right, grass patch to grass patch. And sniffing the air all along the way. I see dispersals. They're not usually an issue. Ooh, and we're swimming. And Teo's like, okay, you can do it. Oh, gosh. 
This was a big part of the water. This makes me so nervous. He's showing them how to swim, but they're so small. Okay, come on, you guys. All right, I'm gonna look for a grass patch kind of while I wait. There's one right there, good. Suntance is still keeping up the back just to make sure they make it. Teo's trying to stay close, but far enough away that we can coax them. Okay. I'm proud of you, Stardust. You did it. Come on, love. Moon Dancer, come to the shore. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> that might have worn them out just a little bit. We're actually doing all right. Moon Dancer is very tired. <laughs> We're gonna go get him. Come here, love. I imagine Teo's probably not as sweet. He's like, <laughs> he's probably like, hurry up. Oh, dang it. I heard the music and I got all excited, but it was my minor injury. It wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't Stardust. Hopefully this move will help her though. All right, pups, we're getting there. I heard wolves howling pretty heavily, um, however, I kind of want to take this chance. Of course! No, let me go. Let me go! Oh! Yes! Oh, I'm getting so much better at that! Oh my goodness, this will be great. Oh, this will be great. Now we'll be able to feed the pups when we get there too. Perfect. Master beaver hunter over here, okay. Who knew that Teo would be the master beaver hunter? Okay, they're still doing pretty well on wakefulness. They're not great, but I think we could move just a little bit farther. All right, Stardust. Come here, love. How's her health? Ooh, 29%. That is, that is not good. I just had a thought. So one of the dens that's really, really close by is actually a den that I had Seraph use a lot. Um, so I was thinking, I'm like, oh, this is actually perfect because for story purposes, Seraph could have told him this, this den, it's by the lake. It's not quite on the lake. I liked that den, I felt safe there. So perhaps he will have remembered that and is going there to almost like, not only seek her guidance, but because her guidance was given, he's going to take that. All right, babies. We are almost, almost there. There's a rabbit that's hanging around and it's making me nervous because rabbits attract bad things. But we're right here, and yes, this is a den I use for Seraph on my own playthroughs quite a bit. No, they're not too far away. Come on. Let me use it. Yes! Okay. We will call this Seraph Sanctuary. Perfect. Oh my goodness. That was great. And this is not one of the dens that Aspen or Mikhail use, so we don't have to worry, or Kiba for that matter, so we don't have to worry that much. Teo's gonna give them a little bit of that beaver that he ate. It is a little concerning that through that whole journey, Stardust did not recover. So we may have to spend even more time laying with her right now. I'm gonna get this bunny because it's making me so nervous. And we're going to bring it back because we're going to let Sundance eat it. <laughs> we had that whole beaver, so we're going to let Sundance have this. Oh, look at Seraphine. Oh, my heart. You guys. Why did that actually make me teary-eyed? I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is the cutest. Aw. It's so funny. I wonder... Look at how close they are to him. You know, I know that, I know that Teo is not particularly close. Like he doesn't show affection. I don't, 
I don't believe that he is, and yet somehow these pups, it's almost like they're begging for it and he's falling for it with every second he's falling for it he loves these pups and even though he may not show it i don't think seraph was very good at showing that she loved either so he was never really taught that like he can't help but feel such a desire to make sure they live and it's making me want to cry <laughs> I want so badly for Teo to succeed, probably more than any of our other wolves that we've had so far. And I've loved all of them. I think the only one that even comes slightly close is Aurora, just because I had gave her such uh, an underdog backstory to start with. But Teo, I want his heart to be calm. And he right now is putting all of his goals and his needs aside because he's so worried about these two pups he's still worried about seraphine she's not fully healed yet she's still only 47 but stardust i'm concerned if we have another sleep she may not make it we may unfortunately have to risk that sleep because with our stamina as low as it is it's extremely dangerous for us to allow it to be that low because we risk being unable to defend our territory um, our territory is very low so Teo may step away just for a moment to make sure that just everything around him is strengthened before he sleeps with one, one last sniff to the air He's going to make sure that the scents seem all right for now. And I think he's going to go ahead and take the risk and sleep. <sighs> so Stardust did not make it. Which is surprising, I actually thought between the two that she would. I think Teo's just gonna lay here, kind of unsure what to do. Maybe nudge her in hopes that she comes back. Maybe say a prayer to Eartha. And when he realizes it doesn't work, he will he will howl for her. Ugh. Poor Earthum is pretty distraught. He kind of separated himself. Unfortunately, I think this will make him pull away and detach. I think in some ways, maybe he feels like a failure. Yeah, I don't think he's going to take that very well. He's, uh, he's leaving them alone and he's going to detach himself a little bit. I know that many of you have said, I don't think he would leave the puffs for long periods of time because he has abandonment issues. I don't disagree, but I also think that emotionally he doesn't know how to handle things. And so he's, he's angry, he wants to kill something. And so that's where he's, he's going right now. I think he's just gonna take his anger out on everything he sees. He chased that coyote into the water. Doesn't even feel bad about it. But he does need to hunt, and I think he's gonna go and take that risk on his own and see if he can't get some food for him in Sundance. Oh yeah, so he's mad. He's gonna make sure this cougar stays as far away from his, his den as possible. Whew. Poor Teo. I genuinely think he doesn't know how to handle this. Like, he's never experienced that kind of loss. It is a thing to lose a parent. Um, I have not experienced that myself yet, but my mom has told me how painful it is and how you never stop missing and wanting that person, you know? That desire never goes away and so he feels that but I have also heard losing a child you're not supposed to lose you're not supposed to bury your children 
people say that all the time and they say that because it's true and so he he feels that and he's just he's detached himself he knows he needs to hunt but he's just kind of wandering around chaotically like he doesn't know what to do with himself right now I do see beavers though he has he has quite enjoyed becoming the beaver hunter Oh. Wow, that was lucky. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. Maybe he feels a little better now that he's killed something. <laughs> The nice thing about beavers is it doesn't actually take all that much energy. The only problem is um, they hurt and they don't give you all that much. He may end up taking this back to the den for Sundance. Oh my goodness, y'all. I just now noticed the time, like just now. I'm so into Teo's story. I'm not paying attention to my timer. That's pretty rare. Like. I, like I said, I love all of our, our Wolf Quest wolves, but I'm so invested in Teo, I'm not even paying attention to my timer at all right now. Huh. Like I said, I don't think he knows what to do with himself. He got to kill something, he got to harass a, a coyote and a cougar, and yet that rage is still burning. I, I do believe that in the next episode, he's going to take this back to Sundance, kind of as a way to say, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, because he doesn't know what else to do. Uh, he's blaming himself. He's mad at... I'm sure he's mad at Eartha and doesn't understand why she wouldn't give his child life or a chance. And he's so mad. And I think that he's going to run himself into taking more and more territory in the next episode. Whew. Again, I'm sorry this one was so long because I wasn't paying attention. But Seraphine did make it. You know, and I... I hate playing favorites with the pup, but with the pups, but if Teo had a favorite, his favorite would be Seraphine. She's literally named after Seraph. And I do think he has a special place in his heart for her. So I'm genuinely glad she survived and that she was not the one to have died. I think it would have been worse if she had died. This is still bad. <laughs> He's still heartbroken, but if, if Seraphine had died, I almost think it would have been far, far worse. Anyways. <laughs> bringing this to a close i hope you liked this episode if you did make sure you give the like button a tickle and a poke subscribe to join the family if you haven't already and jingle that bell so you're notified of when i post our wolf quest episodes also feel free to click the follow me link down below if you want to join discord and chat with me every day or see me live on twitch because i go live every week i love you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week for Wolf Quest, The Lost Brother. Bye!